we're doing TripAdvisor, my thoughts. So someone's posted this. This is a current post, as you can see, on TripAdvisor forum. Boston, New England, road trip, three weeks, May, June 2023. Um, they're a UK couple looking to travel in the first week of May, which can be a little bit chilly, or June. Now, if you wait till June of 2023, um, you might have better sunnier weather, but you're going to have more people because as kids graduate and get out of school, um, that's when you're taking your summer trip. I know last year when I traveled with my niece and my sister, um, we traveled that first part of June and yes, the weather was better, but it was also a little bit more crowded in places and especially like Newport, Rhode Island, uh, Rhode Island, the town was just packed with people, the sidewalks, you could barely walk down them. All the restaurants were bulging with people. So it made it not as pleasant to enjoy Newport. I'm going to say that. Um, I noticed that they have so I would, if given the choice, go in May and the first week of May will be less people and you might miss some of those um, college graduation type events. Weekends are going to still have potentially more people staying, but May is better people wise. And there's lots of cool things you can do in May. You can go whale watching uh, from Martha's Vineyard, that area, Cape Cod, um, a lot of those places. It will be cooler as you go up the main coast, but still a beautiful, beautiful time to be out and less people. Yes, I've said that three times. So they want to pick up the car in Boston, Boston to Portland. Um, I noticed someone else below here did mention I would spend more time in Bar Harbor because Acadia National Park is there. And I would say Acadia three days is a minimum, especially if you want to drive the park, maybe do the carriage trails and routes, do any hiking, um, make sure to get a reservation for sunrise on Cadillac Mountain. You will need to reserve a spot to park up there. And same holds true for if you want to get photos of the lighthouse in Acadia is plan that because you're going to need to spend extra time to get down those rocks and stake out your spot and literally stay there. Yep, that's the truth. Otherwise, you're going to be photographing it from up high which may or may not give you the best angle, that angle that you see in so many of the photos um, on the internet that you see. Um, Stowe, I, I'm not as crazy about Stowe. I guess it depends on your interests. Uh, Stowe in summertime, again, you're going to have more hiking, outdoor things. It's Stowe is very, very small. It's a very small town. I might devote more of my time in Vermont to another location, um, even Burlington, you'll extend your drive, but there's so much more to see over, in my opinion. And this is just my opinion. It depends. I don't see if they said um, if they want a lot of hiking and bicycling. I mean, there's a lot of outdoor activities in Stowe versus Burlington. You have a lot more variety, in my opinion, of walking, shops, the lake, a lot more to do over there. Um so yeah, they've got a good start on this. Make sure to book in when you're coming and going from Boston. You already know that you need to be in Boston. Reserve that hotel. And my tip would be to um, check prices now as soon as possible because prices are only going to go up and you don't want to rent that car until you're leaving Boston. And also when you return to Boston, Turn the car in, like turn it in at the airport and then take an Uber, an airport shuttle back to your hotel and be car free in Boston because so much of it is walkable. I know a really good guide um, that does history walks. You can contact me for his name and he will make a trip. It You know, again, he'll customize that time with you. And to me, that's well worth your time. You can also find tours by locals that do, there's a lot of locals doing tours of Boston and there's free tours. Uh, free tours on foot is another site you might look at for Boston, but be aware when you're doing a free tour, those are newer tour guides. You're probably still going to get good information. It might just not be as rehearsed. So you still may want to do, bring your, your guidebook, your notes with you, but it is nice to go with someone that's a local, they'll be able to point out some some things and you can always 
ask them questions at the end from a local's perspective. So those that's my quick feedback under five minutes on this person's query on TripAdvisor. So feel free to drop a note, subscribe for more.